Hello everybody, just thought we would make a fun little video since we have all this extra time on our hands and after we were done making it, I thought, you know what, let's ask everybody else out there for their input and in the comments y'all can put something that we missed, I'm sure. Some of them were silly, some of them were funny, some of them were uh, pretty appropriate. At any rate, after I was done with this video, I thought, you know what, I wonder if somebody's done this before and I went and I watched one or two videos that had a little bit of this in it, so... Uh, my apologies to you if I stole any of your material. I know this isn't true of everybody out there, but it's true of some of you guys out there. I'm sure, you know, the reseller community is pretty tight-knit, and we all kind of have the same experiences. So feel free and add your own comments below, and maybe you can outdo us a little bit. So thanks for joining us, and we hope you enjoy. If you're counting the days till your oldest child moves out so you can expand your business into their bedroom, you might be a reseller. If your entire wardrobe might eventually become a tax write-off, you might be a reseller. If your spouse has ever asked you to buy something for them and your immediate response is, give me a couple weeks, I know I can find it cheaper at a garage sale, you might be a reseller. If most of your favorite programs have the word picker, flipper, garage, or shed in it, you might be a reseller. If your Christmas presents look like they came from a garage sale, your daddy might be a reseller. If you can no longer pay full price for any item, no matter how bad you need it, you might be a reseller. If your idea of a long commute is walking down 11 steps to go to the shed in your backyard, you might be. A reseller. If the apps on the home screen of your iPhone are eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Mercari, and the yard sale treasure map, you might be a reseller. If you're on a first name basis with all the employees at the local Goodwills, you might be a reseller. If you watch MeTV and all you can think of is how much money you could get for all those vintage items they have on those sets, you might be a reseller. If your spouse gives you a listing quota for the day, week, and month, you may be married to a reseller. If you have a hard time remembering your anniversary, but you can give me the exact going rate of a TI-84 calculator on eBay, you might be a reseller. If your six-year-old boy asked you this question, Daddy, if you had a superpower, which one would you choose? And your immediate response is to be able to spot garage sale signs from a mile away, you might be a reseller. If you gave up your job at Apple to sell things out of a shed in your backyard, you might be a reseller. If you know the exact mileage from your driveway to the nearest post office, you might be a reseller. If you have showed up to a garage sale more than 30 minutes before the person who's having the garage sale, you might be a reseller. If your front porch has collapsed under the weight of the free USPS priority mailboxes you just had delivered, you might be a reseller. When your spouse is making vacation plans and they ask for your input on which hotel to book and your response is the one that is the closest proximity to the most Goodwills, you might be a reseller. If you have committed a federal crime in the last 30 days, you might be a reseller. If your spouse has ever hit you because you're trying to get a couple extra listings done before the sermon is over, you might be a reseller. If the three dogs that used to reside underneath your porch were named Pete, Lonnie, and John, you might be a reseller. If you know what this thing is, you might be a reseller. If you know what these things are, you might be a reseller. If you own more than one of these, you might be a reseller. If you own more than five IKEA bags, you might be a reseller. If you replaced your three old dogs with three new dogs and immediately named them Bolo, 
Rolo and Dymo, you might be a reseller. If the three things you don't talk about at family get-togethers are politics, religion, and free shipping versus calculated shipping, you might be a reseller. If you think it should be a federal crime to leave a garage sale sign up on a telephone pole longer than 24 hours after the sale has ended, you might be a reseller. If you've tried counting Scrabble tiles instead of sheep in order to put yourself to sleep at night, you might be a reseller. If you've ever been sitting in a church pew on a Sunday morning and heard a cha-ching go off in your pocket, you might be a reseller. If somebody says Rolo and the first thing you think of is a printer and not the candy, you might be a reseller. If you know the difference between a 1095, a 1092, and a 1097, you might be a reseller. If hitting every goodwill in your state is on your bucket list, you might be a reseller. If you've ever tried to lowball your six-year-old son because they have a Ninja Turtle that you know brings $15 plus shipping on eBay, you might be a reseller. Instead of enjoying watching your kids open their Christmas presents from your in-laws on Christmas morning, you're spending your time looking up the used value of those toys on eBay, you might be a reseller. If all the employees at the post office run into the back room and take their lunch break when they see your car pull into the parking lot, you might be a reseller. If you have ever asked friends and family to take their Goodwill donations to your front porch, you might be a reseller. If you have ever seen somebody making a donation at the Goodwill and considered asking them if they would let you look through it first, you might be a reseller. If people think your last name is Picker, you might be a reseller. If you have ever let your children play unattended in the toy section at Goodwill while you look through one more rack, you might be a reseller. If anybody has ever asked you why your ringtone sounds like a cash register, you might be a reseller. If you've ever paid your children to stand guard over your IKEA bag pile at a church rummage sale, you might be a reseller. If you are hoarding United States Postal Service supplies in your shed, you might be a reseller. If you eye the lost and found box at your place of employment as a possible sourcing option, you might be a reseller. If you have ever gone to an award show and they asked you who you're wearing and you said goodwill, you might be a reseller. If you have ever stood by the two doors leading to the storeroom at Goodwill, waiting for the next employee to bring out a cartful, you might be a reseller. If you have ever bought a utility knife from a guy who works in a shed in his backyard, you are definitely a reseller. If your place of employment looks like this and it's in your basement, you might be a reseller. If the alarm on your phone is set three hours earlier on a Saturday morning than it is on a Monday morning, you might be a reseller. If you have ever seen items piled up outside of a Goodwill drop-off location that was unattended and considered stopping and looking, you might be a reseller. If you have the eBay customer service number programmed into your cell phone, you might be a reseller. If when your death pile gets low, your pets start to get nervous, you might be <laughs> a reseller. If you have one of these sitting on a shelf in your eBay room because you think it gets things moving quicker out of your eBay store, you're definitely a reseller.